This is an introductory lecture on organic chemistry. Organic chemistry is uh, is the topic in which you study the chemistry of different organic compounds, uh, and uh, we first need to know what what is meant by the term organic compounds. Now, organic compounds uh, they can uh, now they are they are unlimited number of uh, different substances which can be classified as organic compounds they can range from a few atoms a molecule containing a few atoms uh, i mean they can they can be simple molecules with few atoms or they can be different macromolecular structures which can also be classified as organic compounds and these macromolecular structures can contain hundreds of thousands of uh, different different atoms joined together so what are organic compounds organic compounds have one thing in common that one thing is that they all contain carbon so these are all carbon uh, containing so they are all carbon containing structures but it's not limited to carbon carbon is uh, the fundamental uh, building block of organic compounds these can also include uh, other elements and so they also include other elements most notably uh, hydrogen is probably one of the most common uh, element apart from carbon which is present in organic compounds you also have uh, there are plenty of molecules where uh, nitrogen is present and uh, oxygen is present in a lot of uh, your alcohols different alcohols carboxylic acids they have oxygen in it then you have uh, halogens that also form a part of uh, different compounds uh, so uh, it's uh, and there are plenty of other elements which are also part so it's not limited to hydrogen nitrogen oxygen and halogens but these are one of the most uh, common elements that are present in organic compounds now uh, why do we study organic chemistry now organic chemistry is probably uh, it's probably one of the most important fields of chemistry because most of the compounds that you deal with on an everyday basis are organic compounds uh, the human uh, most living organisms so not most but almost all living organisms uh, they are built up of organic compounds they're built up of proteins and amino acids fats etc So these living organisms are all organic. Uh, then you have your fuels that you use on an everyday basis, especially your uh, fossil uh, your fossil fuels. Uh, fossil fuels are derived from living organisms. So these fossil fuels are also organic compounds. So uh, if you if you uh, just think about these two substances, then you will realize that uh, uh, we deal on an, on a daily basis with uh, living organisms with trees with uh, we want to make drugs we want to make fertilizers that are going to affect how these living organisms are affected so we need to understand what, how those organic compounds are going to react with different different things uh, we are also dealing with fuels we want to create more efficient and better fuels so so a lot of uh, uh, a lot of the industry is involved uh, and is dealing and improving organic compounds it's manufacturing organic compounds whether it is medicine, whether it is better fuels. So it's probably one of the most important things uh, that you will study uh, in chemistry. Now moving on, we can now uh, discuss uh, some very basic topics. Now we're going to start discussing some very basic, top basic uh, things about organic compounds. Now... So we're going to start off our lecture and the first thing that we need to understand is uh, 
it's about different formulas, different representations of organic uh, compounds. Now there are plenty of different representations how you how you represent a compound. One of those representation is called uh, it's called the molecular formula. So this is your molecular formula. It simply tells you uh, it tells the total number of atoms of different elements of different elements in a compound. For example, we have, uh, uh, for example, we have uh, different elements in a compound. For example, we have a substance, which uh, looks like th which looks like this. It's uh, it it has one carbon atom and f four hydrogen atoms. Let me correct that. It has one carbon atom and it has four hydrogen atoms and it has one oxygen atom. Now this is called the molecular formula and uh, if you notice one thing you can't actually figure out how these four are arranged uh, it doesn't tell you about the arrangement so the thing is that you have no idea how these atoms are arranged so that's one of the drawbacks of the molecular formula it just tells you the total number of atoms you just count them and you get the molecular formula the second type of formula that is important uh, uh, that you must know especially for all levels chemistry is called the it's called the structural formula now what the structural formula does is that it tells you it it is it it definitely tells you the total number of atoms as, but it also gives you the arrangement so it provides the arrangement of the atoms in a compound so uh, it tells you the arrangement or gives you the structure information about the structure of the substance for example if I if I take this the, this was CH4O that was the molecular formula. Now the structure of that compound can it can have carbon since it makes four bonds. So one structure for the above compound could be this one. And you can check that the structure is uh, correct. This uh, is called methanol. We'll, we're going to discuss why it's called methanol. You don't need to actually remember why uh, remember the name of this compound. But this is what we mean by structural formula. Structural formula actually shows how it shows you the uh, the total number of bonds. It shows you how, which atom is bonded with which other atom. So that is your structural formula. So you must know the difference between the molecular formula and the structural formula. And we will now start practicing a few questions related to this. And we'll go into a lot more detail now.